my name is Andy Nichols, and I'm one of the software engineers working on Qt Enterprise Embedded for Digia. One of the goals of the Qt Enterprise Embedded project is to make device creation easier for our customers. To demonstrate this, I came up with an idea for a device, a synthesizer that also serves as a learning tool uh, by providing visual feedback on what notes are currently being played. What you're actually seeing here is the finished product, the superfluous synth. As far as hardware goes, uh, in the black, black case in the back is actually an IMX6 Sabre light from Boundary Devices. Uh, this is actually one of the reference devices in the Qt Enterprise Embedded SDK. That means that you can, you're provided with an SD card image to flash to the device uh, that will work with uh, the pre-configured Qt Creator to make it a one-push deployment solution. In our case, we've pushed a Qt Quick 2 application that is synthesizing and displaying the notes played by the MIDI controller. Uh, so just to, to just to demonstrate, when we play C major here, it actually shows the notes for C major on the left, and on the bottom right, it actually shows uh, that we're playing C major. If we were to play a minor chord, it would show A minor as well as those notes, and it also shows individual notes as well as any intervals that are being played. It's also possible to change instruments. Uh, the fluid synth library that we're actually using to synthesize our sound uh, is run by sound fonts, and any of the instruments provided by the sound font would actually be usable in this app. So in our case, we just select in this QML view here which instrument we want to play, and then it will actually change what is actually being played. The actual musical notation is done using a pure JavaScript library. Uh, this library is called VexFlow, and it's actually originally intended to be used in HTML5 Canvas applications, but we've actually uh, used it uh, inside of Qt Quick using the Qt Quick 2 Canvas component. I think this is a good example of how Qt Enterprise Embedded makes the process of device creation easier by allowing you to spend more time developing and iterating your software and less time fighting tool chains. I hope you've enjoyed the demo, and maybe it has inspired you to create your own products using Qt Enterprise Embedded. Thanks for watching.